Well, good afternoon, everyone. For those of you who uh, didn't get a chance to meet, my name is David Wicks. I'm vice president of the NASDAQ OMX Group, and it is truly my great pleasure to welcome back Junior Achievement of New York and its president, Joseph Perry, all our distinguished guests, and the top four winning high school student teams of the 2012 Junior Achievement of New York Business Plan Competition. Welcome. <laughs> Now, are you guys gonna keep clapping even though I don't have any hats? <laughs> ah, see, there you go, all right. So we are truly excited that you could all join us right here from the crossroads of the world in Times Square, New York, as we get set to officially ring the NASDAQ closing bell. Now, Joe, usually I try this one more time and just a really big round of applause. Let's see if we can change this market. One more round of applause, I'm convinced we can do it. <laughs> Remember, guys, when I was talking this morning about investing? Everything's on sale today. <laughs> That's a good thing. But anyway, um, so the fifth annual JA New York Business Plan Competition Program kicked off in early spring of this year with six weeks of business education program that encouraged students to work collaborative collaboratively to develop and present a competitive and winning business plan. More than 700 New York City and Long Island students competed the competition moved through a series of lightning competition rounds with the exciting final showdown taking place earlier today right here at the NASDAQ market. Now, was it exciting, guys? Yes? <laughs> we, NASDAQ OMX truly understands how important entrepreneurship is to economic stability and also to the growth of our communities and really to the country. And the mission of the NASDAQ OMX Educational Foundation is to promote learning about capital formation, the financial markets, and entrepreneurship through innovative educational programs. The NASDAQ OMX Educational Foundation is a proud supporter of JA New York and the students who took part in the business plan competition. And with that, I'd like to congratulate the finalists and really all of the student teams who competed. You guys are truly all winners. And now it is my pleasure, and please join me in welcoming the president of Junior Achievement New York, Joe Perry. Joe, come on up. Thank you, David, and good afternoon, everyone. We are about to ring the closing bell for an institution that, on a daily basis, celebrates entrepreneurs and the companies they grow to become global economic forces. In the 21st century, the future of our national competitive strength relies on our ability to foster a culture of creativity, ideas, and innovation, and our capacity to translate these attributes into successful businesses with high-value jobs. The world, as many of us knew it, has disappeared. In order to succeed in this new world, we all need to be innovative, adaptable, nimble, and embracing of new technologies, techniques, and approaches that improve our way of doing business. And we need to prepare the next generation to become entrepreneurs, to create, lead, manage, and work in these business enterprises. That's why five years ago, Junior Achievement of New York and GC Anderson Partners joined together to create a business plan competition for high school students in New York City and Long Island. Three years ago, NASDAQ OMX joined us as a major supporter of this program. And since then, more than 2,500 students have created imaginative business plans and presented them to panels of seasoned investors to compete for first, second, and third place prizes. Standing with me shortly today are this year's winners. These young people are already offering fresh solutions to today's and even tomorrow's anticipated challenges through new software apps, consumer goods and services, and other inventive business ideas. They have been well prepared and coached by senior representatives from some of New York's most prestigious businesses. Along the way, they have learned not only what it takes to, be, to conceive and initiate a winning idea, but they've also garnered confidence, public speaking skills, and introductions to real world investors. It is highly likely, in fact, 
that sometime in the not terribly distant future, one or more of these young people may be right back here again, introducing an IPO or celebrating a milestone moment in the history of a company that they have yet to conceive. This competition is representative of the work of the Junior Achievement Organization, which throughout the United States and around the globe is a leader in inspiring young people to succeed in the global economy. So it is with great pride today that Junior Achievement of New York closes out this ins inspirational day surrounded by these very talented representatives of our country's future. Thank you. Joe, um, congratulations on another successful uh, curriculum here today. To commemorate today's closing bell, I'd like to present you with the closing bell crystal. Congratulations. Thank you. David, thank you very much. On behalf of the